chest pain. Outline Introduction Etiology Evaluation of chest pain Differential diagnosis of chest pain Initial approach to the patient Investigation Management of chest pain Heart failure Factors that may precipitate or aggravate heart failure Risk factors for heart failure Types of heart failure Clinical manifestations of heart failure Investigations Management Pharmacological therapy Surgical management Complications Cardiac arrest Symptoms and signs Investigations Cardiopulmonary resuscitation Primary survey and secondary survey The techniques used in 1 and 2 rescue CPR Introduction Chest pain is often used to describe any pain, pressure, squeezing, choking, numbness, or any other discomfort in the chest, neck, or upper abdomen, and is often associated with pain in the jaw, head, or arms. Etiology Angina due to coronary artery disease Heartburn Benign chest wall pain Anxiety or panic disorder Asthma Bronchitis Pneumonia Pleuritis Pneumothorax Mitral valve prolapse Aortic dissection Pericarditis Recent chest trauma Peptic ulcer Angina due to coronary artery spasm Evaluation of chest pain Try to find the nature and cause of chest pain through medical history Acute, short-lived or ongoing Recurrent and episodic Persistent Details on pain Site of pain Localized or diffuse with radiation Intensity and character of pain Precipitating and relieving factors Any relationship with meals or posture Any variation with breathing, coughing and movements Differential diagnosis of chest pain Cardiac Coronary artery disease MI Pericarditis Myocarditis Pulmonary embolism Less common causes Aortic dissection Aneurysm of thoracic aorta Severe aortic stenosis Non-cardiac GIT disorder A. Esophageal disorder like esophagitis or esophageal motility disorders B. Peptic ulcer C. Biliary disease D. Pancreatitis Musculoskeletal disorder Costochondritis Rib number Radiculopathy Psychogenic chest pain Lungs or pleura Bronchospasm Pulmonary infarct Pneumonia Pneumothorax Pulmonary embolism Tuberculosis Neurological Prolapse intervertebral disc Herpes zoster 
Thoracic Outlet Syndrome Initial approach to the patient A cardiac monitor Have intravenous access established Oxygen administered Vital signs measured and A 12 lead ECG obtained Investigation ECG Cardiac markers CKMB Cardiac Tromponins T and I Other blood tests Leukocytosis ESR and CRP Echocardiogram Chest X-ray Spiral CT if PE is suspected ANA B U N Keratinine T S H Esophageal pH monitoring Management of chest pain If a serious, life threatening condition is suspected, do not lose time in referring a patient to tertiary care center unless there are therapeutic options such as fibrinolysis and a defibrillator available. Optimize the patient's condition by relieving pain, reducing anxiety and stabilizing any hemodynamic or electrical disturbance. If a heart attack is suspected, treatment should be initiated with oxygen inhalation, aspirin, morphine, short-acting nitrate, beta blocker, fibrinolytics, diuretics, ACEI. Other treatment may be given on special indications. Heart failure. Heart failure is a state in which the heart cannot provide sufficient cardiac output to satisfy the metabolic needs of the body. Etiology. The causes of hair failure can be divided into three subgroups. Abnormal loading condition. Abnormal muscle function. Conditions or disease that limit. Factors that may precipitate or aggravate heart failure. Myocardial ischemia or infarction. Intercurrent illness, example, infection. Arrhythmia. Inappropriate reduction of therapy. Administration of a drug with negative inotropic, example, B. Adrenoceptor antagonist or fluid retaining properties, example, non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs, corticosteroids, pulmonary embolism, conditions associated with increased metabolic demand, example, pregnancy, thyrotoxicosis, anemia. Intravenous fluid overload, example, post-operative IV infusion. Risk factors for heart failure. Hypertension, myocardial infarctions, diabetes, male gender, age usually greater than 65 year, African Americans, Lifestyle factors, smoking, drugs, alcohol. Types of heart failure. Onset. Acute heart failure. Chronic heart failure. Affected side of the heart. Left heart failure. Right heart failure. Biventricular heart failure. Clinical manifestations of heart failure Left heart failure Dyspnea on exertion Paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea Tachycardia Cough Hemoptysis Bacillar crackles 
Shine Stokes Respiration Audible S3 and S4 Heart Tones Pulses Alternance Right Heart Failure Decrease Exercise Tolerance Hepatojugular Reflux Hepatomegaly Edema Ascites Investigations Labs C B C count Electrolytes Renal function tests Liver function tests B type natriuretic peptide Imaging studies Chest radiography Echocardiography Radionuclide multiple gated acquisition scan Management Medical therapy of heart failure focuses on three main goals Preload reduction Reduction of systemic vascular resistance Inhibition of both the RAAS systems and vasoconstrictor Neurohumoral factors Pharmacological therapy Angiotensin converting enzyme ACE inhibitors Angiotensin 2 receptor blockers ARBs Diuretics Positive inotropic agents Vasodilator therapy Beta adrenergic blocker Aldosterone antagonist Human B-type natriuretic peptide, nesiratide. Surgical management, complications. Surgical management. Intraaortic balloon pump. Ventricular assist device. Biventricular pacing. Cardiac resynchronization. Cardiac transplantation. Complications Intractable or refractory heart failure Cardiac dysrhythmias Myocardial failure and cardiac arrest Digoxin toxicity Pulmonary infarction, pneumonia and emboli Cardiac arrest Absent or inadequate ventricular contraction that immediately results in systemic circulatory failure. Etiology Cardiac arrest primarily results from cardiac causes, including electrical dysfunction in 80% of patients and mechanical failure in 20%. Ventricular tachycardia Ventricular fibrillation Asystole Electromechanical dissociation Circulatory shock Symptoms and signs Loss of consciousness Rapid, shallow breathing leading rapidly to apnea Profound arterial hypotension with non-palpable pulses over major vessels Absent heart sounds Within several minutes, tissue hypoxemia results, leading to vital organ injury. Investigations Rapid Rhythm Assessment End tidal carbon dioxide partial pressure Central venous oxygen saturation Echocardiogram Serum electrolytes 12 lead electrocardiogram serum lactate cardiopulmonary resuscitation in unconscious person speed efficiency and proper application of cpr directly relate to successful neurologic outcome cpr must be continued until the cardiopulmonary system is stabilized cpr Primary, Basic Cardiac Life Support, BCLS, and 
secondary, advanced cardiac life support, ACLS, basic life support, check for danger, send for help, check response, check airways, check for breathing, give CPR, apply defibrillator, Primary Survey and Secondary Survey Primary Survey – Basic Life Support Secondary Survey – Advanced Cardiac Life Support A. Airway Opened Establish airway patency using head, tilt, neck lift or mandibular jaw thrust. If available, Use an artificial airway in the unconscious patient. Airway opened. Maintain airway patency. Progress to endotracheal intubation if experienced personnel are available. B. Breathing restored. Note chest movement. If no spontaneous chest movement, initiate mouth to mouth rescue breathing. Reassess for chest movement. Breathing restored. Note chest movement. If endotracheal intubation is accomplished, assess patient for current position of endotracheal tube. C. Circulation restored. Establish pulselessness. If pulseless and appropriate equipment is available, rapidly assess for VF or pulse VT. If VF or pulseless VT is present, defibrillate. If pulseless and appropriate equipment is not available, begin chest compressions. Circulation restored. Establish IV axis. Accurately assess vital signs. Provide appropriate drug therapy based on rhythm and vital signs. If pulseless, an appropriate equipment is available, rapidly assess for VF or pulseless VT. If VF or pulseless VT is present, defibrillate. D. Defibrillate. Differential diagnosis. Consider underlying cause of cardiac arrest and implications with respect to drug therapy. The techniques used in 1 and 2 Rescuer CPR 1 Rescuer CPR 2 Rescuer CPR Breath Size Adults 2 breaths 1 to 1.5 second each after every 15 cardiac compressions at 80 to 100 per minute totaling about 12 to 15 breaths per minute. 1 breath, 1 to 1.5 seconds after every 5 cardiac compressions at 80 to 100 per minute, totaling about 15 to 20 breaths per minute. Each breath about 1 liter, twice the normal tidal volume, which provides adequate oxygenation to maintain normal blood oxygen saturation greater than 90% and elimination of carbon dioxide PaCO2 equal to 20 to 40 millimeters Hg. Children 2 breaths 1 to 1.5 seconds each after every 5 cardiac compressions at 80 to 100 per minute totaling about 30 to 40 breaths per minute. 2 breaths, 1 to 1.5 seconds each, after every 5 cardiac compressions at 80 to 100 per minute, totaling about 30 to 40 breaths per minute. Smaller breaths than for adults. Infants, 2 breaths, 
1 to 1.5 seconds age after every 5 cardiac compressions at 100 per minute, totaling about 40 breaths per minute. 2 breaths, 1 to 1.5 seconds each, after every 5 cardiac compressions at 100 per minute, totaling about 40 breaths per minute. Only small puffs from rescuer's cheeks.